Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com, here to bring you part two in my series entitled Tarot Therapy. This is a chance for us to explore the themes, concepts, and dynamics within the tarot cards and how those cards relate to the medicine that we need within ourselves and in our world today. So in today's episode, start part two, I'm going to be discussing the King of Swords. This is the Morgan Greer deck that I'm using for an example today. And the King of Swords, I want to talk about how the Swords energy represents intellectual, analytical, practical, mental energy and ideas. And I want to talk about how when we are too much in our heads, when we allow our practical, analytical minds to take over our lives and our decisions to, to an imbalanced extent, then we are cutting off our hearts, we are cutting off our intuition, we are cutting off our emotions, and this means that we are cutting off our spiritual connection. Our intuition rests with it within our emotional body. It rests in our heart. It rests in our emotional body. It rests within our feelings. That is a part of our bodies. When we're too much in our heads, we are not in our bodies. When we're seeking emotional or spiritual connection, we need to be able to get in our bodies and get in our feelings and recognize and sit with the feelings that we have in our bodies. Those are not necessarily emotions. The feelings that we have in our bodies can sometimes be distinguished from emotions, although they are related to emotions. It's important that we know how things feel within our body, how specific um circumstances and experiences feel within our body, how our intuition feels within our body, and so forth. I will give you some examples of times when I have noticed that people are letting their analytical and logical minds get in the way of spiritual guidance, spiritual messages, or spiritual advising, or spiritual growth. Um, because what happens is we allow our minds to take over because we are not allowing ourselves to receive, to be receptive, to be intuitively receptive to information. Instead, we've trained ourselves to think through things. So when we receive some guidance, we receive some messages, we start to automatically think, how does this fit into my life? How is this going to work? I need to know the step-by-step -step plan. I need to know the, the individual steps that it's going to take to get me through this guidance. Guidance. I need to see what this looks like in my life. I need to know A, B, and C. And the Fool card in the Tarot deck tells us that we don't need to know the how. We don't need to know steps one, two, and three. What we need to do is focus on the what, focus on the where, focus on how you want your life to feel, focus on where you are going, and have faith that those steps are going to fall together um, very naturally, very um, in the way that they need to fall together for you and that when you are in tune with having that faith, when you are in tune with the universe, in tune with your intuition, you will be able to allow those steps to unfold one by one just by following what you feel and where you are intuitively being led. So you don't always need to have a step-by-step -step plan laid out for where you want to go, how your life how you want your life to be or how you want to feel in your life. And with this sword energy, with this very um, mental energy, what happens to people, I'm going to give you some examples from readings. So I did a reading for somebody and they wanted to know how they were going to if they were going to draw new love into their life. And what I saw was that the a, a more ideal love would be coming to them. They would meet them in a party type situation. They would meet them in a kind of celebration and that it would involve family and that it would most likely be somebody who is a friend of the family and that it would somehow involve travel. The person would either be traveling or the um, the Querent would be traveling, one of the individuals would be traveling. 
So then the, the querents then started racking their brains, racking their brains and wondering, how is this going to come to be and how can I make sure it happens? I need to know what the plan is to get there and I need to make sure that it happens. So they could only think that there was going to be a, a specific party in another state and that they would have to travel there in order to go to this party and that that would be the only way that they're going to meet their love. So they then orchestrated an entire plan surrounding the guidance that I gave them. They actively put a plan into motion because they filled it in with what they considered to be logical steps because they felt that they needed to control this, that they felt that they needed to see how this was going to come into be, how it was going to come into motion in their lives and that the only way that they could get it to come into motion would be through controlling the situation. So through all of this, they ended up having a falling out with the person who was going to have the party, and they didn't get to go to the party. They were no longer in contact with those people, and then they came to me and they said, look, this is what happened. Now my chances of having love in my life are ruined. Every time that something is supposed to happen for me, it gets ruined, it gets blocked, and now I'm not going to get the love that I was supposed to have because everything got ruined, because everything is always blocked for me. So I think you can probably see where things went awry. The first, the root of what went awry, the first thing that went, went awry and the root of all of this is a lack of faith, okay? It's a lack of faith and it's a heavy reliance on the mental um, aspects of ourselves. So they didn't have faith that they could sit back in their lives and that this thing would fall into place. They didn't have faith that they could be open to possibilities and open to opportunities. They didn't have faith that the universe would bring them what they need. They didn't have faith that this would unfold in their lives without them taking any direct action. What really needed to happen was that they would sit back and be open to opportunities and be open to possibilities. Not knowing how things are going to happen means that we are allowing ourselves to be open to surprises that the universe or surprises that God or spirit can bring to us. We don't need to know how it is going to manifest. We don't need to control how it is going to manifest. We need to be open to the surprises that the universe can bring to us. We need to understand that we are only human and that we can't always see or plan or create the step-by-step -step plan in order to get what it is we desire and we deserve because there are things that we cannot imagine in advance. There are surprise opportunities and blessings and possibilities that the universe has in store for us that we have no way of knowing. So we can know some of this, that a love is coming and the circumstances under which the love can come, but we don't necessarily know how that's all going to come into play, who is going to invite us to the party, where the party is going to be, who is going to have the party. And those are the details that we don't need to know. What we're being asked to do is be open to the possibilities and to have faith that things are, things are, um, coming into fruition for us. Things are unfolding for us, right? So that is one example of how our minds get in the way of us receiving the guidance and receiving the messages that we need and to really being open to the possibilities that are coming into our lives. I think I said I was going to give you two examples, but I think one example is enough. So I encourage you to contemplate the energy of the King of Swords. Contemplate the role that your analytical, logical mind plays in your life. Contemplate 
how it will feel for you to let go of the how, to let go of the how and instead have faith in the why. You don't always need to know exactly how it's going to come into play. Try to recognize when you are starting to play that game where you're allowing your logical mind to fill in the blanks. You're allowing your logical mind to fill in the details because that is actually a detour. That's actually a way of you trying to control things and trying to feel safe and what you need to do when you notice that coming up is focus on cultivating your faith thanks so much everyone stay blessed